In this edition of Real Magic Magazine, Francis Minotti tells Peter Pitchford about the importance of being comfortable and confident in your act. I think one of the most memorable moments I ever had, which was a, uh, a, a moment that made me realize that I'm comfortable with where I am and who I am as a performer at this point, was a few years ago at Monday Night Magic in New York. Todd Robbins, who was emceeing that night, came into the, to the dressing room and he said, oh, by the way, um, just so you know, there are a couple people in the audience. Uh, Topaz is in the audience tonight. And then he said, oh yeah, by the way, uh, Lou Reed is also in the audience. And uh, almost as an aside, as he's walking out and as we're just processing this and thinking, okay, well, that's interesting. He said, oh, by the way, uh, uh, Steve Martin is also in the audience. And so it was this strange trifecta. I mean, Topaz, you know, the magician in, that I was revering and saying was a great magician. And uh, then, you know, Lou Reed, like, oh, wow, that takes it up a notch. And then Steve Martin, who, for whom I've had uh, absolute utmost respect, my, you know, my, one of my favorite entertainers for years, for most of my life. And it was funny because at that moment I said, okay, am I nervous? I, like, I really had to sit down and kind of just go into myself, whatever that means. I was just thinking, oh my god, uh, am I nervous? And I realized after like, thinking about it, no, I'm not nervous. Because basically I'm going to do my act and the act is as good as it is. It's, I'm going to do it, I'm going to get out there, I'm going to do it. And whether or not he or those people like it is irrelevant. It's, they'll either like it or they won't, but it's not going to be the fault of the act. The act's going to be good because I'm going to do it and do it well. And after that, it's just going to be a matter of their opinion. And we have a new column in this issue, Stronger Magic, with Tyler Erickson. The first thing that we're going to talk about is the concept of wand cover. Very, very simple concept. The idea is whenever you have something hidden in your hand, you will hold something else at the same time. So the audience is aware of the thing you are holding, but not the thing that you are concealing. So worry less about where the palmed object is and more about are you holding on to something. Because the truth of it is, as soon as you lose your wand cover, the hand that has something will never look as good as the hand that has nothing. If you're trying to portray your hand as empty, it becomes much, much easier to do so in a convincing fashion as long as you have something in your hand. Also in issue 40, Kainoa Harbottle discusses the growth of magical thought. Christian Painter tears up some cards to good effect. Bill Wish shares Slidini's open and shut vanish, and Doc and Cosmo discuss finding the little bits of gold that add humor to your act. Yeah, I used to have this thing at the tower, you know, I always had a backup bartender work with me, you know, and I'm doing the thing, doing the thing, suddenly somebody would say something and like, oh boy, the whole crowd went nuts, they go, write that down, will you? You know, everybody laughed just like you laughed. Ha, ha, ha. You know what? Yeah, laughs on you, Bezo, because when you're out of there and we're sweeping up night, hey, I was right in the middle of that one routine that where I did the three card money thing. What did the guy say? Oh, yeah. You know what? Tomorrow night, you say that. As always, we've got three tricks to teach you. In this issue, they're all real magic exclusives from Francis Minotti, Irving Kant, and Sean Robeson. The box goes on the box, the coin goes in, and the lid goes on. So now again, all I do is push, and the coin falls through the box, and through the box. All this and much, much more. It's Real Magic Magazine. Television for magicians.